Hi, I'm Ellie, and this is your weekly theatre news recap, the show where I give you all of the week's UK tour and West End theatre news, but I'm also kind of sick. And that should show my dedication that I'm still doing it while I'm a little bit sick. Uh, this week, there's been so much. There's been a lot. There's been so many cool and exciting things and things that I got to see and preview of, so that's cool. So let's just jump into it, starting with casting news as we always do. But if you want to stay up to date with all of the UK theatre news that I cover on this channel, which is mostly tours and West End, those, those, those two, <laughs> make sure you hit like and subscribe so you don't miss a single one. This is the most chaotic way to get your news every single week. And who doesn't love that? But let's start as we always do with our casting news. Now, The Wizard of Oz has been kind of drip feeding their casting a bit. It's been very confusing to work out who's doing where because of the order that they've done it, but they've now given like a comprehensive uh, guide, I guess, to who is playing who, how many different people are playing who, and where they are playing whomst. And here they are. So, as previously announced, Aston Merigold will be playing the Tin Man, he will be doing this in Liverpool only. Craig Revel Horwood and the Vivian will be sharing the role of the Wicked Witch of the West across the whole tour. Now, we have some new cast members uh, announced to play the Wizard. We knew that Gary Wilmot would be reprising his role, but now we also know that Alan Stewart and Alex Bourne will also be sharing the role of the Wizard. Jason Manford is another cast member who did the show in London who will be reprising his role, but only for one tour stop. For two weeks, he will be playing the Cowardly Lion in Manchester. So if you're in Manchester, you're going to get Jason Manford. And now we have the rest of the cast, who are Avia Tully as Dorothy, Benjamin Yates as the Scarecrow, Nick Greenshields as the Lion, Emily Bull as Glinda the Good Witch, and Abigail Matthews as Toto. We also have a full ensemble who will be in the description down below. I hope that is a bit more of a comprehensive guide of who's playing who on this new Wizard of Oz tour. I really enjoyed the show at the Curve. I'm hoping that maybe I'll be able to go and see it again. I'd like to see the Vivian. Because, you know, I am a Drag Race girly. I am a Drag Race girly. So, <laughs> you know, I would like to see it. Next up, the play that is heading to the Harold Pinter Theatre, I think, The Hills of California has announced its initial casting. We know that Laura Donnelly, Leanne Best, Ophelia Loverbond, and Helena Wilson will be leading the cast as the Webb family. They will also be joined by Brian Dick, Sean Dooley, Corey Johnson, Richard Lumsden, Natasha Majiji, Nancy Alsop, Sophia Ally, we love an ally. <laughs> Alfie Jackson, Laura McDonnell, Lucy Moran, and Nicola Turner. That's an exciting cast. We love to see it. I'm very intrigued by this trait. I can't speak. Do you know, do you know the ability to pronounce words? I don't have it. <laughs> I am really excited by this play. I'm really excited by this play. I, I've read The Ferryman, and it's by the same writer, and... I'm, I'm intrigued. There's a there's a hint of intrigue surrounding this play, and you know I've got to see it. Now we got the first cast member for Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, which is a show that I have to pronounce its name very carefully, because um, <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized. Uh, the children's musical, which is getting a revival, it's a classic. You know, it's a, I, I think it's a classic in the UK, but I don't think it actually hit like. Did it hit other countries massively? Do Americans know Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? It's, it's the car and it flies and the villain is a child catcher. It's creepy and that. I I actually don't think I've ever seen the whole thing, but I know like little bits and pieces, like Trudy Scrumptious and like, I, I know bits and pieces of Chitty, you know, but <laughs> we know the first castman for this show, which is Adam Garcia. We love Adam Garcia who was in 42nd Street this year, not last year, hasn't been that long, <laughs> was in 42nd Street this summer at Sadler's Wells, an amazing tap dancer. Uh, I also interviewed him, which is exciting. He'll be playing, this is a name that I will not be able to pronounce, uh, Caracactus. Cara yes, I'm going to go with that. Caracactus Potts. Uh, clearly I haven't seen enough of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> I know bits and pieces of it. Uh, so, Adam Garcia will be playing Potts. 
<laughs> in uh, this new UK tour, starting in Southampton next April. Very exciting. Look, I love Alan Garcia. Alan Garcia is an amazing performer, and I'm ready for this. But the big news this week, the news that I knew was happening, because I knew that I had an invite to the press launch. So I have been waiting for like weeks for this news to come out. I didn't know who the cast was. I, I had no clue who the cast was. I found out at the same time as everyone else. I was waiting. I knew the news was coming on that day. I didn't know who it was. And when I saw the news, I went, yes, yes. Because this cast for Hades Town, the US Stend premiere of Hades Town, it's good. I have been waiting for Hades Town to come back since I saw it last at the National, when it played the National pre-Broadway. And I have been patiently waiting. And now we know the cast. So, <clears throat> Donald Finn will be our Orpheus. Grace Hodgett Young, who is currently in Sunset Boulevard, uh, is our Eurydice. Melanie Labarry, who uh, you may know from Anne Juliet, both on the West End and on the West End, in the West End, and on Broadway as the nurse, will be our Hermes. So we are continuing the trend that we've seen later into the Broadway run of having a female Hermes. But it's actually very interesting because if you look at the full cast and you look at the alternates, we actually have a male alternate as the first alt for Hermes. So we're getting a bit of both worlds. And if you want to throw even more to it, we also have a trans cover for Hermes, which I adore. Let's go, but let's continue on. I'm. I, this is how like into this cast I am. <laughs> Gloria Onatiri is playing Persephone. I, if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure she was in the original London run of this show as well. So she's no stranger. She's no stranger to this show. Moving up into the cast, playing Persephone. And honestly, do yourself a favor. After this video is over, head over to my TikTok at Ellie Talks Theatre and go and listen to her version of Our Lady of the Underground because the choices that she makes, it is more than chef's kiss. It is glorious and I am so ready for Gloria. Zachary James is our Hades and we have our Fates who are Bella Brown, Madeline Charlemagne and Ali Daniel. Trans icon Ali Daniel is one of the fates. And when I saw this cast had trans representation and trans representation as good as Ali Daniel, I was ready. I was here for it. I was already here for it, but now I'm even more here for it. I am so unbelievably here for it. I cannot wait. I, I could not wait, and that's why I went to the press launch, and you can see all the clips that I took at the press launch on my TikTok right now, but, ah, ah, this is so good. I'm so ready. I am so ready. We also have our ensemble, who will be in the description down below. There are some amazing names in here, including Waylene Jacobs, who you may recognize from Hamilton. Just, just, yes, yes. I'm so ready. I spent so long on the Hades Town section of this video because it's so good. It's so good. And from the first preview that I got to see, that I was honored to see, because I I feel honored to be in their presence, this cast is going to be incredible. And I am so ready. I hope you can feel my passion for this cast already. <laughs> But that is all of our casting news this week. There was actually no news that I saw about any extensions or any like miscellaneous news. So we can go straight into transfers and new productions this week. Now we got quite a few uh, transfer announcements this week. And I'm going to start with one of the UK tours that's been going around at the moment, Shrek the Musical. Now this production of Shrek the Musical, I shared my thoughts on it. But, you know, it's always good to see a version of uh, like a, a show for families coming to London. And Shrek is getting a full London date at the Eventum Apollo for six weeks only from the 19th of July to the 31st of August. This, I mean, I, I'm very surprised that the Eventum is starting to do a lot more musicals. Uh, I think it was either last week or the week before we got the announcement that Only Fools and Horses was getting a Christmas run at the Apollo. You think Sister Act had a run at the Apollo. We're seeing a lot more musicals and... Honestly, the link between a lot of them is a lot of like touring musicals are going into the Eventim as their London run. 
it's very interesting to see. We're starting to see a couple of venues around London trying to be like the tour stop. You know, I mean, Wimbledon has always been like the main one. Wimbledon, if you've got a UK tour, it's going to go to Wimbledon. And that's going to be the, your big London date. But we're starting to see more of these tours do Wimbledon and then later on come back to London and have like a proper sit down run in a London venue, like the Peacock, like Eventum Apollo now. It's very interesting to see them start to lean into this, especially because we don't always necessarily think of the Eventum as like a, a space for musical theatre. I mean, it's a very small stage. Only a very few amount of shows can actually stage themselves on that stage. Because it's a small stage and then a massive, massive auditorium. So to sell a lot of those seats is quite hard. But you know what? If anyone can do it, I think Shrek can. We got the announcement that, yes, uh, the cast will be returning. The main three will be returning to their roles for this extra leg that's happening at the end of their tour. Very exciting. Let's move on to the Player Kings, which is a new version of William Shakespeare's Henry IV, parts one and two, uh, which is going to be starring Ian McKellen as full stuff, with further casting to be announced. Now, like some other plays that have been going around recently, this is getting a West End run, which is happening at the No Coward Theatre from the 1st of April to the 22nd of June 2024, but it's also having some out-of-town previews, happening at the previously mentioned New Wimbledon Theatre from the 1st of March to the 9th of March, and actually up in Manchester at the Manchester Opera House from the 14th of March to the 23rd of March. Very interesting. I think this is a Shakespeare role that McKellen has actually never played before, so it's going to be quite interesting to see him do that, but very exciting. We have two concerts to talk about this week, both announced by Fourth Wall. The first one is Jamie Moscato, star of Heather, star of Moulin Rouge, star of Les Mis, absolute icon and legend, who will be performing live at Cadogan Hall on Saturday the 21st of July 2024. And talking about halls, Lena Hall, absolute icon, star of Hedwig and the Angry Inch, uh, recently came over here to do In Dreams, the musical, up in Leeds, will also be going to Caledon Hall. I'm mad that they didn't call it Hall at Hall, but... You know, I'm not on the marketing team for this one, so <laughs> this will be happening uh, on Monday, the 27th of May, 2024. Two very exciting performers getting two very exciting concerts, and I'm very excited to be excited, excitingly, about this exciting concert. <laughs> now, for our other announcements of transfers this week, Police Cops, the musical, is our second of the three. Uh, this had a very hit run at the Summit Playhouse Borough earlier this year, and they have announced that it will be returning bigger and better than ever at the other Summit Playhouse venue, The Elephant, for seven weeks from the 1st of March to the 20th of April, with tickets on sale now, so you can book that. I missed Police Cops for the first time. I missed it. I missed it by, like, a little hair, but I've heard so many good things about it that I'm going to have to go and see it this time. And the final one that I have, I have saved for this slot, Cowboys. Cowboys is getting a transfer from the RSC. It is going to the Royal Court's Jerwood Theatre downstairs between the 11th of January 2024 and the 10th of February 2024. Now, the reason that I am so excited about this is because it is trans theatre. This is the, I, I have lovingly dubbed it, the trans cowboy play, because that's what it is. That's what it is. And do you know what? I love that. I love, I love a cheeky trans cowboy. That's iconic. It's been written by trans icon Charlie Josephine, and they are just, they are just fantastic. And I, I need to see it. I need to see this. I need to be there. I need my tickets immediately. I've heard so many good things about this and I was hoping and praying that they were going to transfer this because it was a little bit too far for me to travel to be able to see it. And you know me, I love a bit of trans theater and I don't get to see it too often. So I'm like here for this. I'm here for a bit of trans theater. Let's go. And finally, the biggest news story of the week, the news story that broke very early into the week, 
So you probably already know it by now, but it's still the biggest. Dear Hansen's back. Dear Evan Hansen's back, but it's different. It's very different. So what's very interesting is that a lot of the other productions that closed around the same time as Dear Evan Hansen, like Anne Juliet, like Come From Away, they're all seeming to get tours at the moment. But all of these tours have been the same production that was in the West End. So Anne Juliet's going to be the same as it was in, at the Shaftesbury. Come From Away is going to be, we think, maybe just without the revolves, the same as it was at uh, the Phoenix. But Dear Evan Hansen is going to be getting a brand new production. This is being headed up by the artistic director at Nottingham Playhouse, Adam Penford, and it will be the first time that we see a brand new production of Dear Evan Hansen. This is going on tour from autumn 2024, so we do have quite a little bit of a wait. And if you felt like I haven't been reading long lists of tour stops too much, Get ready, because there's a lot of town names that I have to read right now. <clears throat> and they are Nottingham Playhouse, which will be opening on the 9th of September 2024, and then we'll be going to Curve Leicester, Brighton, Alexandra Theatre in Birmingham, New Victoria in Woking, Leeds Grand, Liverpool Empire, Sunderland Empire, and New Theatre Oxford... Yes, and that's at the end of the year. And then in the new year, in 2025, because we're, we're booking this far in advance, it's going to go to Northampton, Southampton, the, both the Hamptons, uh, Milton Keynes, Bristol, Manchester, Glasgow, His Majesty's in Aberdeen, uh, Belfast, Chester, New Wimbledon, uh, Theatre, yes, Wolverhampton, <laughs> uh, Sheffield Lyceum. Why am I reading some of the full names of the theatres and not some of the full names of the theatres? Uh, Sheffield Lyceum, Theatre Royal Plymouth, Hull New Theatre, Wales M Millennium Centre in Cardiff, and the Theatre Royal Norwich. And that's a tour booking until the 13th of May 2025. So, if you're near any of those, and you have the patience to wait, <laughs> Make sure you book your tickets to go see a brand new production of Dear and Hansen, which is the, probably the most exciting thing about this. I want to see how they're going to revive it, how they're going to change it, what's going to be different, and especially what's going to be different knowing some of the... Uh, feedback and the controversy that does surround Evan Hansen now. But that is all of your theatre news this week. I have girl bossed through it as I always do. What's what you're looking forward to? I'm looking forward to Hades Town. That's still the most exciting thing to me. Yes. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It really helps me. It helps that channel. Here's some links to my videos on screen right now and a link to my Instagram if you want to drop me a follow over there. But that's it for me today and I hope to see you next time. Bye.